How important is it for you to be in your child's life? Because you know, with all this that you had going on. Very. Or like, your children's life. Yeah, no, very important because the thing is, um, and I don't ever feel like, because like the life I led, the life I led is the only life I know. Mm -hmm. So like everything that I told you, as crazy as it may sound to you, it's perfectly normal to me. Mm -hmm. Like this is normal stuff to me. Yeah. So I try to not just be present. Mm -hmm. I try to be there. Mm -hmm. Or maybe it's the other way around because I've heard it both ways. Mm -hmm be there but also be present be mm -hmm. actively involved right and it's uh it's important to me because right. i feel like a lot of things with young black men they lack people guiding them sometimes because the rat race that the world puts us in mm -hmm. makes it tough sometimes to be a fully involved parent mm -hmm. you know and even when you look at the school dynamic i mean I, I witnessed this during the pandemic like it's like they would when the kids were homeschool doing everything virtual mm -hmm. like the parents were doing the homework too like, that was their work, but it was our work somehow, too. And those kids was getting Fs, okay? Yeah, because the math knew. <laughs> like, yo, that's not how we learn how to multiply. Like, yo, I'll punch you. Don't show me that ever right. again, <laughs> right. you know? Um, and But, like, you know, as frustrating as some of that stuff is sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, you just got to figure it out. Or even if you're not like, all right, I'm not the homework dad, but let's go out there and build something. Right. Or, like, hey, what are you into? What are your interests? Let me help you you know, fuel your passions. Mm. Cause that's one thing that my parents always did. Like whatever it was I wanted to do, they fueled it. That's dope. You know what I mean? Like yeah. they had these struggles, they had their battles. And I'm glad that they was able to climb out mm -hmm. and uh, you know, and get on the better side of that. But like, you know, I don't ever want my kids to know that level of struggle or know that level of instability. Mm, that's, that's, deep. that's important to me. All right, so I'm your kid, I'm one of your kids. You gotta have the talk, okay. right? Cause you got sons, mm -hmm. you got four sons. What are you saying to them? Like, give it to me. Give give me the speech. Yo, hey, listen. Um, I don't want any other kids in here other than you. So you're gonna have to strap up and uh, protect yourself at all times. Just like well, I was actually boxing. talking about what's happening in the media. Oh, in media. Like, no, what what's happening? Like the, the black men and getting pulled over by cops. What's that conversation? Oh. Do you have to have that conversation with your sons? I do have to have that conversation with my sons because I mean, I mean, it's just like a protocol. Yeah. You know, like we're not a. What, what are you saying to them? Um, you know, when my oldest, who's 23, mm -hmm. he um, great great kid. Wow. I had him young. I started early. Yeah. Um, great kid. And, you know, I just like, you know, tell them that, hey, listen, not everybody knows the you that I know. Yeah. So a lot of times, if you ever find yourself in a jam, mm -hmm. you just got to figure out every way possible to survive the situation. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? No yeah. sudden moves. Uh, you know, have all your paperwork in a safe and easy place to where you can access it. Um, make sure you record things when applicable just in case somebody tries to say something happened that didn't, you do your thing. Like, my kid has a, a camera in his dash. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, and just always know when to move around. Because, mm -hmm. like, sometimes you can kind of, you know, you can kind of sense when when the, air, when the quality of the air shifts <laughs> and you got to shake the spot a little bit. Right. Like I've always had that intuition. Wow. Like, I always knew when it was time to bounce. Yeah. And, like, you know, and I hope my kids are even sharper versions of me in that oh. regard so they don't ever get jammed up either. Because, like, yeah, like, I mean, I'm not necessarily, like, on the full-blown F the police bandwagon yeah. because I got family that is also yeah. in law enforcement, right? Mm -hmm. And But even they be like, yo, people racist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Within the that thing. Part. So I've always been aided or weaponized, rather, with the information mm -hmm. that can help you survive the situation. Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe, like, share, and comment. You never know when I might be in the comments. And also, thank you guys for continuing to watch.